This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. Warning, vulgarity awaits. What's going on guys? This is Vi- Oh, whoa, what? The worst assault rifles? <laughs> <laughs> Top 12 worst assault rifles in Borderlands 2 and the pre sequel. Ugh, fuck my life. Number 12, the Stomper and Wallop. Okay, so I'm not quite as mad about this one. The Stomper is exclusive to Borderlands 2, and the Wallop is exclusive to Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Both of these guns are bad because they just become obsolete so quickly. Not to mention that you get the Stomper later on in Borderlands 2 storyline, and the Wallop doesn't even drop in the pre-sequel. It's unfortunate because both have really cool weapon skins. Seriously, that lacquer effect on the Stomper is sick. Number 11, the Damned Cowboy. The Damned Cowboy is a part of the Unholy Trinity, along with the Rex and the Elephant Gun. I mean, whoever designed these three guns nerfed the fuck out of them by setting a cap on how fast you can fire them. Why? This is Jacobs. I'm supposed to be able to fire as fast as I can pull the trigger. Fuck the goddamn cowboy, fuck the Rex, fuck the Elephant Gun, and fuck the unforgivable unforgiven. <laughs> Number 10, The Seeker. <sighs> you guys already know what I'm gonna say. It's no secret that The Seeker is a piece of shit. Man, I remember every Borderlands YouTube personality hyped the fuck out of this gun. I mean, I can't blame them either. A gun that plays the game for you sounds amazing. And then we got the Seeker, and I think we can all agree that the Seeker is a boatload of ass. Sell this power, fuck. Number nine, the Fusillade. Fuck the Fusillade. I like high fire rate and magazine size. I mean, who doesn't? But not on a goddamn pea shooter. This thing is literally worthless. It looks cool, but as all, we all know, looks can be deceiving. I mean, fuck. Look at the Stomper. Look how badass that thing was. And I mean, this... Ugh, fuck, I got nothing else. I'm moving on. Number eight, the Boom Puppy. You know, last time I referenced the ending of Planet of the Apes. This time, I'm just gonna say that the Boom Puppy is a piece of shit. You take the worst grenade mod deployment method and you turn it into a gun? What the fuck? I mean, seriously, you had to have known that the Boom Puppy would have been a pile of fuck. So why oh why oh why oh why does the Boom Puppy exist? And by the way, fuck the Boom Puppy. Number seven, the Cry Baby. <laughs> Man, I can't fake cry for shit. This gun is so bad that it would make Isaac fucking piss. I mean, he's got a great game, however, a shitty gun in Borderlands the pre sequel. And it's a shame, too, because this thing is really unique. I mean, it has unique elements. Like, there's an element that allows your bullets to pass through enemies. Uh, there's a element that allows you to deal more damage after you've killed an enemy. It's also got alternate barrels and versions that can't be found on the other guns. I mean, it's an absolute travesty. And let's not forget, it's a pile of... I'll let you finish that. Number six, the all painful. Good evening, Pandora. Now I'm back and I'm about the same shit that I said last time. The old painful reminds me of an ass clenchery boatload of fucking diarrhea, shit-tastic fuck. <laughs> what I mean to say is that this gun is a piece of shit. It's a rotary second load of shit fun. AKA a goddamn spinning gun. It shoots all over the goddamn planes, even while aiming a down the side. Uh, what a countrified boatload of chicken ass fuckery. Whatever that is. Number five, the madhouse. Pandora, I'm fucking back. Now y'all get this now, now. Uh, my good little buddy from Georgia borrowed my truck to go to the madhouse shooting range. Now, he got back and all he said was there were a bunch of foreigners there with their wobbly ass pea shooters. I mean, what the fuck? Fuck the Madhouse. In summary, if you guys haven't picked up on this already, the Madhouse is a piece of shit. Fuck the Madhouse. Number four, the Chopper. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna say get to the Chopper. The Chopper is just dumb. A big ass magazine that empties as soon as you fire it. This thing could have had so much potential as it could have been like this deadly super weapon. I mean, we're talking like Death Star level of badass. 
Did I mention you can only get this from Dexidrus the Invincible, who can't even be killed on the highest difficulty setting in Borderlands 2? Fuck the chopper. Number three, the Bearcat. This gun could be good, except it consumes a ridiculous amount of ammo when you shoot it. I mean, you'll be out of bullets before you kill anything. There was a chance here to create an amazing weapon. Who doesn't like grenade launchers? Unfortunately, all we got was awful and a ridiculously rare piece of shit. Number two, the Boss Nova. This gun is so bad that when you fire it directly at enemies, the bullets pass directly through them. This gun defies the law of physics. It's so bad. And instead, in order to deal damage, you have to shoot around enemies and let the Novas conveniently explode around their feet. What also angers me is that this gun is locked behind the tails from the Borderlands Season Pass and should be part of the Claptastic Voyage expansion. Number one, the Evil Smasher. Once one of the most powerful weapons in the game, the Evil Smasher could be combined with other weapons to perform a glitch that greatly increased the damage of weapons. Since the Evil Smasher was nerfed to oblivion and wasn't rebalanced afterwards, it really is only useful now as grinder fodder, and is definitely a boatload of ice. One of my biggest fears is that Gearbox will release another patch totally breaking the Morningstar because the Morningstar can also be performed, you, or I'm sorry, used to perform a ridiculously overpowered glitch. Anyway guys, that's gonna pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, and as always, take care and I'll see y'all next time.